Alright, welcome back to the Talos Principle. Here in the uh, Serious Sam Desert level, we uh, left off not reading these texts because I figured it would probably take too long. So, let's start by doing that. Mutation, Capacity, and Evolution. The role of mutation in evolution is particularly fascinating. Mutation is essentially an error in the organism's central database. A variable gets changed, a piece of information is accidentally doubled, or combined with another. Most of the time, the result is the equivalent of a bug, causing anything from minor problems to complete system shutdown, i.e. death. But sometimes, the new information is functional, giving the organism an advantage against the challenges it faces, in which case it has a much higher chance of being passed on to the next generation. Or passed to. If you consider how unlikely a beneficial mutation is, and how long it takes for such a mutation to propagate, this process can give you an amazing insight into just how vast the genetic history of each living organism, lots of hexadecimal, I guess, overwrite. And yeah, we have we have an F here, which probably means this is not the pair here. It would be 4D and 4F, because if you go back, then we would have 52, 46, and I guess like 20 and 45, and you would just skip this, this six or something. Hmm. We'll have to see. Simultaneously, it is intriguing to consider what a major role random errors have played in the evolution of life itself. The same process that has killed so many of us, often in horrific ways, is also responsible for our very existence. Yeah? Uh, so... I've noticed that for some reason, whenever you like... Oh no, yeah, I guess... I guess it would go back... Hmm. What would you remove here? I, I want to say you remove this six, because like, for some reason... Every time we have an incomprehensible series of uh, hexadecimal, it's almost always the six that you remove from the start, or it's been like twice that something. So yeah, let me feed this into a, a thing and we'll see. I don't know if I should put overwrite as well, like is, is that part of this string? Give me a sec. Well, it just worked on its own. I didn't need to delete anything because I, I didn't notice that the first string of these Characters were five characters, so it kind of made up for the F here at the start. So yeah, life from error. And I mean, it wouldn't really make sense to have this in it, because I think this is just like life or something. Like this is L, I guess. I, F, I don't know, maybe. And then E, but then you have one character left over that then gets like put in between the, I guess that's the space or something. But then, like, overwrite would be here, which doesn't make any sense, then you get this kind of thing. So, I don't know. I, I imagine this just doesn't really have anything to do with it. So, that's that. Capacity. From Trevor Donovan to Alexander Drennan. EL Capacity. Yeah, no worries. EL is not only ridiculously fast, it also has a bazillion ton of tons of space. I need that. Even while hosting a full copy of the archive, it'll totally be able to handle all your project's data needs, assuming its output is as you suggested. I mean, the worst case scenario would be, like, centuries. That should be enough, right? Right? Trev? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I guess she wants this to archive everything forever and ever or something. No idea. Evolution, favorited by George Jameson. One of the most common misunderstandings about evolution, sometimes accidentally promoted by people who should know better, is that it's an active process. Sometimes the term evolve is even applied to individual beings, as if some invisible force had driven them to suddenly change. But the truth is that individuals don't evolve. The term evolution describes a long-term process that can be observed in an entire population across time due to hexadecimal example, in response to an external threat or challenge. If an individual co coincidentally has a trait that allows it to deal with that challenge more effectively than others, it is more likely to pass on that information to its descendants. That information gives them an advantage, so over time they become the dominant model of that species. The individuals experience no significance... Oh, the individuals experience no significant genetic change during their lifetimes but each of them is part of the evolution of the species. Yeah? I mean, that makes sense. Kind of said a similar thing to mutation here. And, oh wait, right? We had a little bit of hexadecimal. So, give me a second here. There was nothing up here, no? We just have 
this stuff. Iteration. That's all it says. Due to iteration? I don't know. Maybe? Alright, that's that. Now we can get back to exploring here. Don't imagine you can read anything here. Yeah, we had those QR codes over there as well. I haven't forgotten. I'm just looking around a little bit. Ah, there's one as well. It's a big level. A lot of, uh, lot of puzzles here. And a lot of QR codes as well. Oh, that's my friend again. The tools to overcome this please has been provided to us. Yeah. And that's another friend. Am I going crazy or do the computer terminals have a personality? I don't think you're going crazy. So, that should mean paint bucket somewhere here. If I can find it. Samsara, this is not my friend. There are hidden dangers in this new world. I have inexplicably escaped death any number of times. I suggest vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often. I see. That's kind of an interesting take on it. Like, most people wouldn't think twice about dying in a video game, but maybe there are consequences if you keep dying in this world. And yeah... Then we have the ones over here as well. There's nothing in these waters. They're kind of suspicious a little bit. I made a box float. Seriously, it was awesome. I gotta try that. You'll be needing a special device to solve this one. Oh, that's my friend again. So let's just check this one. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I only have a few friends that have played this game because if you had like hundreds... Oh, there's the paint bucket hundreds of Steam friends that had all played this game, it would be so cluttered with uh, with QR codes, unless there's some kind of restriction to it where it only picks a certain number, like five or something, in a level. No idea. But yeah, it's not too bad here. And we'll check all of these as well. So we should check over here as well, but I'll do that after. Nothing else here. That I can see anyway. And then this is just a normal level, yeah. Alright, let's check the final thing. And I didn't check how many stars there were in this level, if any. Yeah, nothing much that I can see. Let me just confirm over here. There's one golden star and just gold ones. Nothing but gold. Alright, well, let's start over here. window through a door and we need connectors there's no like immediate new mechanic in this world is there I mean, I'm sure I can do something with that if I need to, but we'll see. We got a buzzer. A third connector.
No secret switch. Too bad. And that's where we have to open it up, I see. But once we open this up, we get one more connector and we can like pass it through as well. So I imagine that's what you do. Yeah, and that's the end of the line here. Alright. So, how do I get around this buzzer? Since I need to send it through here. Or, there was nothing I could open there, no? So we only have... Where did I put that connector? We only have two connectors. Hmm. Oh! No, 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 no. I was gonna say, like, we could bounce it here and then through, but no, you can't do that. Well, I mean... Is it really this simple to just, like, have this here? And then hook this one up here? This does not seem right. Just put it as close here as I can. It is that. Really. That's surprising. So hold on. Now at this point... Ow. Uh, let's just reduce the the number here we can put one here and place it right here i guess and then we still need to connect this up hmm Yeah, I see what to do, but it's a little hard to do. Huh. Well, let's just quickly uh, read this QR code. I just don't understand this one. I figured I'd try and make some progress here, but honestly, it's such a thankless task compared to what else is out there. Okay. This at guy has, like, never done anything that isn't complaining, right? I think he's just complained the entire time. Maybe I don't do this? Maybe... Hmm. Or we have to, like, place this further over here. Hold on, I can place this one... Yeah, maybe this is it. Place it, like, here instead. I mean, I guess in this case, let's just take this one and place it here instead. Yeah, that's it. That's what we do. Now that'll still be open. We can connect this up and place it here. And now, it, even if we break this line, it'll just remain steady. And then we can connect this up here and this here. And this one is, like, much slower, so you wouldn't be able to have the buzzer not cut it off. And that's it. Yeah, okay, well, that felt a lot better than last time, at least. That wasn't bad. And again, in theory, we can, like, send red lasers out of this level, should I need them over here or something. I guess let's go for this one next. Why not? This is something about a star. Oh, really? There's a star? There's a star. And yeah, we just need one connector here. What? They're just like reusing the same trick over and over. What's that about? That is kind of weird, actually. Like, we've done this trick twice now, I think. This is the third time. So we just take all of these back. I 
I think we probably only need two, actually, but oh well. Just reset all of these. So we just place one of them. We only... Oh, we only needed one. Never mind. Just right here. And now that's set up so that we can connect it up here if we find a connector in here. But maybe that's the trick to it. Maybe we don't have connectors in here and have to figure something else out. I mean, obviously there has to be some connector in here. Yeah, there's a connector. That's weird. Why, why is this so easy? Why are they just reusing the same thing? And there we go, now we have 10 stars. Hmm. Should we just say, fuck this, let's go do the, the star thing? That could be kind of more fun. What are you doing? Just back and forth here. I mean, this seems easy enough at least. Let's, I guess let's try and uh, complete this one. I mean, it seems like it'll work. Oh, it's blinking again. Yeah, I guess you just have enough time to do that. No ladder to climb out, though, so I guess you just have to wait for this to open again, but... Something about a star. So that, that was it for this level. It was like a non-puzzle level. It's just... Yeah, there's... There's a star in here. That's also quite easy. Oh, it's the MLA again. Hello again. I've been checking your responses against library archives, and in order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me what is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? A tree is heavier, a pebble is older, a tree is alive. I mean, out of those, I guess I'll say a tree is alive. Good. Now, what is the relevant difference between a tree and a frog? A frog is conscious, a frog is green, a frog is delicious. Conscious. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? I have feelings, I'm rational, I'm self-aware. Nothing important frogs are, frogs are people too. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, I mean, it's either one of these, I guess? Either being rational or being self-aware. Because, I mean, there are animals and stuff that have show some self-awareness too, right? Like in mirrors and stuff like that, so I guess it's more rationality? I'll say that. Exactly. Checking user.prof. I wonder if you said anything else if it wouldn't say exactly. And it seems you were on the right track, more or less all along. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. One, a person must be rational or self-aware. Two, a person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is ask whether you are in fact, but whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalize your existence? Uh, I mean, I guess I have to say yes, but I don't know if I can in this game world, but yes, of course. I tend to agree with you. Though your responses so far have been a little eccentric, I am resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness in your opinion? Consciousness is what separates us for, from animals. Consciousness is the feelings and senses. Consciousness is what it is like to be me. Consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. I mean, it probably is this one, truthfully, but... Uh... Because, yeah, I, I don't know if it's feelings and senses. But, like, this is kind of a non-answer. It's what separates us. Yeah, but what is it? You're not answering the question. I guess just this one? Like, consciousness is just what it is like to be conscious, you know? Let's say that. That's That hardly answers the question. Yeah, I know. What is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Consciousness is made of neurons. Consciousness is, is another word for the soul. Consciousness is beyond the laws of physics. Consciousness is a complex functional system. Uh... I, I guess I'll say this one. I don't know. It's it's complicated. Interesting. Thinking. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through that certification program in no time. 
In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to any conclusions. Alright, there we go. Well, and with that, I don't really think we have time to check out the, uh, the golden star thing. But maybe we can head back and at least unlock the door. Alright, here we are. It takes a while to run back. And, let's see. Let's see if I can solve this right away. I'm not so sure. Oh, that's already a problem. Uh... Don't think I can solve it like this, no. So something is wrong here. Getting closer, but not quite. Hmm. This piece is kind of a problem. I guess it kind of has to be in the corner, somehow. If we shift these around a little bit... Oh, that's the wrong piece. No, that's not gonna work. This is not really gonna work at all. Yeah, getting harder, these ones. We can also do this kind of thing. Do I just want to copy that? Probably not. Oh my god, you just want to do it symmetrically. Alright, there we go. And it used up all of my stars, so that's now done, and we can't get these back. Yeah? And if I, if I like, reset this, I'm just gonna test? No, okay, you can't reset and, like, take them back or anything. So yeah, there are, like, clear pieces? Gray pieces? I have no idea. But we'll have to leave that for next time. We've opened this door, expended our precious golden stars, and hopefully we'll be able to get more in Area 2 in order to open that one as well. But maybe you have to get to Area C, uh, not area 2, area B. Maybe you have to get to C before you can get enough to open the B one as well, similar to this one. We'll see, but it will be a cliffhanger for next time. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you then. Bye-bye!